what you just saw was the most requested video on my Instagram account to make a tutorial on. And trust me, it's very easy to create. This effect is called Hyper 3D Stereoscopic Effect. And it's quite trending right now on Instagram Reels. So if you want to learn how to create this effect, let me break it down for you and you can just follow along. Now, before we dive into it, let's understand what is stereoscopic effect. So by definition on Google, it is a process by which two photographs of the same object taken at slightly different angles are viewed together, creating an impression of depth and solidity. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Only instead of two photographs, we're going to take nine. But a quick tip before you actually go out and take pictures. Go to your camera settings and turn your camera grid on because that will allow you to keep your subject at the exact same position in the frame when you're trying to take pictures at different angles. Now, the process is very simple. You take multiple pictures, then you convert those pictures into a GIF in Photoshop. And then you take that GIF into Premiere Pro and convert it into a video. So let's start with taking pictures. In order to create this effect, you will have to ask your subject to stay put and you're gonna take three pictures of them moving from left to right just a tiny bit with every picture you take. Then you're gonna have to get a little closer to your subject and take the next three pictures from left to right moving again just a tiny bit with every picture you take. And finally, you're gonna have to repeat the exact same process for the third time so that now you will have a total of nine pictures to work with. All right, so now that you have taken your photos to create this effect, let's bring them into Photoshop. You're gonna right click on the first photo and open with Photoshop. Now, the first thing you want to check if you have the timeline visible here at the bottom. If not, you can go to window and select the timeline to make it visible. Then go to the layers tab and unlock the background layer because we will be working with it. Now let's bring the remaining photos in Photoshop. Select them all and drag them in. You can click the check mark on the top or hit enter. And when you do that for all your photos, you can see them in the layers tab. Now uncheck the visibility for all the layers except for the bottommost layer. Now just make the second layer from the bottom visible and set its opacity to 50%. Now we will start aligning them. Hit Command T or Control T and try to align them as close as possible. To make this simple, just pick one part of the image and try to align them. Like in this case, I'm aligning my friend's face. Don't worry about the other parts of the image because that's where the 3D magic will happen. And when you're done, Make sure you set the opacity for that layer back to 100%. Then again, make the third layer visible, set its opacity to 50% and align the photo. Now repeat the process for all the layers above one by one. And don't forget to set the opacity back to 100% for each of them. Now. Click on create video timeline and that will create a timeline for you. Now click on these little boxes here at the bottom left corner and it will create a frame by frame timeline. Now since you have 9 photos, you want to create 9 frames for each of them. So click here on this icon until you have 9 frames. We will now assign each of these frames to each of the layers. Click on the first frame and hide the visibility for all the layers except for the bottom most layer. Now select the second frame and show visibility of the second layer. Similarly, for the third frame, show visibility of the third layer and so on. When you are done, just make sure that each of these frames is set to 5 seconds. Now you are ready to export it as a GIF. Go to File, Export and select Save for Web Legacy. Now here, you want to select GIF and you want to change this to adaptive. And that's it. You can click save and export it. Now open Premiere Pro and bring the GIF into the media browser. 
Now we'll create a new sequence. Go to File, New and select Sequence. Here we need to make sure that we select a 30 FPS sequence. So if I go to my settings, we will select the time base to 30 frames per second. And since we are creating this on a vertical HD format, we will put horizontal as 1080 and vertical as 1920. And that's it. Hit OK. Now we'll drag our GIF onto the timeline. We'll keep the existing settings. Now you want to adjust the size of your GIF according to the frame. Once you've done that, right click on your clip and select speed duration. Here you want to set the duration to 3 seconds, which technically will speed up the clip by 1500%. And you want to change the time interpolation to optical flow. Then click OK. And there you have it. The Hyper 3D stereoscopic effect. Check if this bar up here is yellow instead of green. Just in case the effect doesn't show immediately. In that case, go to sequence and select render into out. And that should fix that. Now you can be all creative with this. In order to make a loop, Copy the clip by holding Alt or Option on the keyboard and dragging it. Now right click on the copied clip, go to speed duration and check on the reverse speed. And once you render, you will have the loop. So I hope you guys learned something today and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because I'll be coming up with a lot of cool content like this going forward. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.